Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games and talk game design. Oh, yeah. And we're on Edwards Island in Going a little game called Oxenfree. Yeah. Which you voted for us to play, which I'm very thankful. So thank you, fans. <laughs> so I wanted to play this real bad. Yeah, if you didn't know, Jenna is actually the reason we're playing this on the show. Not that I was opposed to it, but, you know. Yeah, that's where why. we left off, we're over here. You can see, uh... Yeah, Alex we didn't and... make much progress from Harden Tower. I feel I know. like we were going forever, and it was just like, burr, 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 burr. which to me tells me that something's gonna happen before we even get to the relay point. Yeah, we're where, going to save Ren, Ren first. I mean, in all honesty, it's probably quicker to go to Fort Milner. Mm, yeah, Milner first. Uh, no, I think it's about equal equidistance. I mean, there's there's I just as many stops. I guess you have to go stops. like up here. Yeah, let's let's jump back into this. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Bridge stand. Bridge stand. Like, is the bridge named stand? Psh. Does it bridge stand sand. for anything? <laughs> 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 I'll be here all night, folks. Recording with her. All right, all right. So zigzag. I do wonder if um, there are, like, Secret nooks and crannies we could explore in this game. I don't know, maybe. I, like, I feel like it's really popular in a lot of both adventure games and narrative games. Like, Tony and I playing through um, Thomas Was Alone. Well, there weren't a lot of nooks and crannies. There were, like, little collectible things kind of hidden across each of the uh, a few of the levels. Is this the way we got um, there? Why is there a cable car here? Maybe. Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood. Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. Speaking know, of nooks and crannies, neat. I noticed Looks an interact less than an interactable spot or on a grave down below. Oh, that's cool. Look. Or even on. Look, it's a little scary, but Ryan needs us, so. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Down into the left. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the um, conveyor thing. It's been running here since the invention so of yeah. ovens. Hmm. Oh. Nice. Yeah, that right there. So I guess probably the oh, secret nooks and crannies. Oh, in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Cool. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess that that feels appropriate. If there are going to be little secret nooks and crannies, they should be narrative based. Yeah. I feel like. That's better than things like, oh, collect these little triangle pieces. Like, gotta collect them all. Yeah, I don't know. Which should I... I don't know which way. I mean, they were talking about going across over there. But also, what is... Is this a house? Power transfer station 167. Huh. Oh. I might have okay, figured out how to make this work. Strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? I don't know. Monsters? Just monsters? That's your answer? <laughs> I don't see no... Ooh! Ooh! Circuit breaker. circuit breaker! Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. He's so, so negative, and, I, and I've made all our answers it. positive, that and I don't know if that's actually her happens. or what. You well, know, he's not just negative, but he's a worry ward. Like, he's really? he's I'm, very I'm obviously sister, afraid at this situation the right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's your barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting way to, to get a game over at this point. What if, like, uh, what if what it, like, flip? actually killed Is you? kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on the <gasps> back? It's... Oh, no. I can't oh, this. no. Oh, no. It's okay. We'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power I on. I know. Still. Look at you. Something spooky's gonna happen. See, can you do anything with the lamp? Uh... Any ideas? Let me go. Uh, the light kind of reminds me of that triangle thing. I don't know why. Maybe it's yeah. a transmission yeah. oh. or something. Other than that, I don't know. Hop up and down and cry oh. about our bad luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I was wondering when the radio was going to come back into play. This is a pretty clever way to kind of like hint that there's something going on because why would it be glowing when all of the power is out, right? Ooh. That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ooh. I'm so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Alright, I don't know what's what. Well, I think we need to go up to get Ren. But they were talking about the cable car. I, yeah, I guess maybe the cable car could take us up there. Bridge stand. Oh. Yeah, maybe that Unless is the way to go. shortcut? Yeah, maybe we have to go up to the campgrounds and then through the woods. Let's try that. Yeah, because I think going up takes us to whatever that house is up there. Should we try it? Just check it out? That's that's your call. You're the one running the show. Uh, There's a chair. There be Alex? Oh! Are you all right? <laughs> Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to. I would totally do the same thing in that situation. <laughs> That's a total, like, dad joke kind of moment. <laughs> yep. It reminds me of, uh, what was that movie? Was it The Mummy, where he, like, sticks his arm through a hole in the wall? And it's just like, ah! ah and he pulls it out. He's like, eh. I don't remember, but I feel like that would happen in The Mummy. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I don't even know if this is the right way, but I want to know what's up here. I definitely like how they're kind of building up some of the suspense because it starts off with the very like, very light and kind of like not not gleeful but kind of like, haha, we're being mischievous and having a good time kind of tone. We're gonna get drunk in the beach, no parents, what up? And then it you know it starts hinting like, oh, there's something weird going on in this island. And that moment in that little like, powerhouse, was a great like way to build true That's suspense because you're like, wait. I don't know, cat bird station. And the call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Or does it? Is there a little triangle on the panel on the wall? I don't know. I can't keep going here or anything. Maybe try pulling out your radio? I mean, she said it was, what, 60.1? 60.8. 60 60.8. So we probably can't hit that since it doesn't go that low but yeah still want to see yeah so I wonder if there's a way to like upgrade your radio <laughs> no joke <laughs> okay yeah nothing there there's got to be some kind of secret. Maybe see what that sign says. Uh, one, one... It won't let me interact with it. Oh, really? Yeah. I think one of our fans mentioned that we should be able to interact with signs to get more information, but maybe that was earlier on. Yeah, they. I go up to it, and I've been pressing it. But... Mm, okay. So maybe not all the signs. But yeah, definitely some of them we've been able to. But yeah, I, I do like that moment, though, in the powerhouse, oh, because wait, it kind of shows us okay. that, like, things are going to get spooky. It's kind of like a foreshadow, right? Like, yeah, like, this isn't just a one-time thing that happened. There's going to be more. Like, this is trivial right now, but it kind of has that, like, jump scare -ish tone without it being a real jump scare. I guess kind of was a jump scare, but, like... You were actually there. Yeah, yeah. If you were actually there, that would have probably freaked anyone out. Fucking chair. What a night, huh? Yeah, tonight's not exactly what I expected. Um, what does that mean? You said, what a night, humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. It says you, man. <laughs> it's true, how do you know if barracuda Praise hums or not? Fish are weird. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. There's a lot of things that have been happening in here. If I had to do them in real life, a whole hell of a lot of no. Oh, yeah. See, I'm the kind of person, though, that while I would be... I would genuinely be terrified 
of this whole situation, I would also be equally excited and be like, I kind of want to explore a little more, to be totally honest. Like, I might die from a ghost or something. From a ghost. Or aliens. <laughs> Whatever the triangle is. Well, I'm, I mostly mean, like, riding in a cable car. That's it's all rickety. Oh, that? that <laughs> Nothing. Don't fret so much. You're with Alex right now, all right? Queen of the... Um... I'm not helping you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> both of those were mean. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean, I mean that's what Ren. Yeah, made. with my brother. With Michael? Yeah. Like with your mom and dad, or sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Oh, well, that's cool. I want to hear like this conversation, like so I'm not clicking on the tent. You and he'd bring you out here. That's nice of him. Could have just stayed home, you know. It wasn't like he wasn't being forced to watch me. We were family. There's like a loyalty there. He's not. He wasn't being paid five bucks an hour. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean. Yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like I don't know. Like it's been abandoned. Like maybe the people yeah, that had been using it cool, disappeared. Like in the summer or even <laughs> in the spring. You got the park. You got the main street shops. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It can be pretty nice when the the conditions are right, you know? Okay, well, let's hold off here, because that's all we have for this episode. Pretty little pond. It is a pretty little pond. So, question of the day for you guys. Um, I want to ask about what are good ways to build suspense in games, especially narrative games. So we're not talking horror games. We're, we're probably more on the line of like thriller, right? Because this game fits a little bit more in the thriller realm. Um, so what do you think are good way, good ways to build suspense in a game like this? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll leave it at that. Sounds good. Cool. Well, be sure to keep voting for Oxen Free or whatever else you want us to play next after this recording session. And, uh, and share your comments and thoughts in the comment section Whoa. below. Ooh. A lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean, I mean, that's what... Well, let's ride this one out since we've already started this. Ren made it sound like. Uh, yeah. I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. That's a long... <laughs> Why was it so bad? There just was nothing to do. <sighs> and my parents wanted to give me a good time, and they couldn't, and I could tell. I don't know. I look back on it now, and those dumb trips are kind of like... They're just containers for, I don't know, the memories that I have with her. Nowadays, I think... What stuff happens matters more. Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. Yeah, so anyways, I think places are pretty much what you make of them, you know? And not the other way around. It's just a theory, anyway. So was that a conversation we already had with him? No. Just kinda... So... The first part we did have with him, but then him telling the story of his family trips to Missouri, that was new. Okay. Um, and obviously the oh. fire being lit is new. Yeah, this is new. Okay. I thought the computer was freaking out at first. I didn't think it was <laughs> so, yeah, definitely don't move any forward. We'll save okay, this for okay. the next episode. Thank and you for so watching, everyone, and we will see you in episode seven. Seven? With seven. more creeptastic occurrences. <laughs> yeah, no joke. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone.